Grumbo, third, Joe Castillo picks it out of the dirt. First out of the game. It's been a week since we played because of the weather. Last game was last Friday at Conway. Rockets scored a huge 5-4 to four victory that game. Swing and a miss. After this pitch, we'll set the Rocket defense for you. It's still 0-2. Batter calls time. You got Jackson giving it third base. Miles Raymer at shortstop. Cody Fogelman playing second. Joe Castillo at first. This is his eighth appearance, his sixth start. He's pitched 28 and a third innings for the, on the season. He's 3-2. and two. Only allowed 12 hits in those 28 innings. Nine ERA. He and Caleb Short have anchored the starting rotation for the Rockets. Two outs. Curveball. Uh, foul ball. Play. Asher asked me not to, like, not to give, like, actual savings, like, y'all say. He's like, why? And he's like, it's dumb. And I was like, give me an example. Who's to contact? And I'm like, I'll trade you. I'll trade you. Can't, never lose that. Here's a 2-1. Runner goes. Curveball high. Here's a throw down. He's in there. Head first slides. Gets in. Good pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three on the curveball. So Asher works run, hit batter. A couple of strikeouts. One left, no hits, no runs, no errors. And we're going to move into the bomb of the first with Catholic batting 0-0. Zero, zero. A home game for the Rockets, even though we are in Cabot. So that means Brooks Ward is leading it off in the bottom of the first inning. Check swing there. Brooks is coming off of a huge eighth inning home run in Conway. Oh, and they, yeah. there's a shot in the right field. Line drive gets down the line. He's going to... Make a hard turn. It looks to the. He's going to hold yeah. off at first. And he stops at first. Lead off line drive single. Brings up Joe Castillo. Castillo also homered in Conway. Brooks' home run late in the eighth inning proved the difference in the 5 to 4 Rockets victory. Hard fastball. 90 plus. Good cut by Castillo. Fouled straight back. Kayla Jr. Cal Turner Jr. Hello. 
swing at the high fastball. He tips it, but the catcher hangs on. Castillo leading the team with a 385 batting average. That includes 15 hits. Also leads with 10 RBI. Another high fastball this time. Joe lays off. It's a warning track. And Brooks has to say it first. It's a gentle breeze, but it is going out towards center and right. Lauren thinks it's more than gentle. That brings up Jackson, England. I will call it a swirling wind. Fouled back. One strike. England, a junior, playing right field. Throw over, Ward dives in safely. One out right now, Rockers have a runner on first. There goes Brooks. The throw is coming in, it bounces in, knocked down by the shortstop. Ward's gonna be safe with a stolen base. Moves a runner in scoring position now. Same situation the Panthers had in the first inning, or in, the, in their part of the first inning. One and one. Here's a pitch. There you go. Then he follows it back. Maybe a bit fooled on that one. Wasn't more of a defensive swing. Not this at bat. I have to it at all. Mm -hmm. One, two. Probably going to see it here. There's the curveball for strike three. Good pitch. After following two fastballs straight back, timing was right there for England, so curveball is probably expected. So that two out, that brings up sophomore Ethan Young. Ethan, in that Conway game he, game, he put a ball off the top of the right field fence, just missing a home run. First pitch is a fastball inside for ball one. Brooks Ward at second after a leadoff single. Ethan Young looking to drive him home here. Another fastball, that one stays low. 2-0. That when coach says it's got to be in a shoebox on 2-0, you're looking for a pitch in a very specific location, the size of a shoebox. And that was high, definitely outside of the shoebox. You're looking for a 2-0 pitch. It's got to be fairly perfect, but when it is, you give a big swing. Now it's 3-0. Most likely a red light take sign here. Here's a pitch. And that's inside for ball four. There's four pitch walk. Brings up Noel, brings up Noel Lewis. My favorite part of the video last week with Conway is after Ethan got tagged out on his triple. That hit the wall. How excited he was. Oh, yeah, like the, him just going nuts. The it, most jubilant it was awesome. outs ever made on the base pads. I was like, yeah. Ethan hits the ball off the top of the wall, but eventually got thrown out at third base, but did drive in two runs before that happened. There you go. Way to go, no. Good cut by Lewis. Great cut. Just missed it, fouled straight back, but it was on time and on balance. Justin Givens on deck. Runs over and gets a foul ball. Two runners on, two out here in the bottom of the first inning. Got full blue skies for the first time in about a week. Here's a pitch. Curveball. That stays high. Nope. I thought it stayed high. The umpire didn't disagree. 0 oh 2. That, I mean, that was. You thought it was high. I thought it would cross a plate high. Catcher caught it. Catcher caught it at the numbers, but I thought it broke high. Here's the 0-2. High fastball. Where, where's 
Ball one. Where you going, Eve? One two pitch, two outs, curveball, ground ball to shortstop. He comes in on the run, scoops it, throws on the run, and there's a third out of the inning. So Rockets leave one hit, one walk, leave two runners on, but can't push that run across. And at the end We good? All right, we're back here in the top of the second. Derek Larson, Cabot's catcher, leads off against Asher Hamilton. First pitch curveball, swing and a miss. Asher snaps that glove. One thing you never have to worry about, fastball low. One thing you have to worry about with Asher is getting pumped up to play. He's always ready to go. Always pumped up to play, always ready to go. Always has the another yeah, curveball. Yeah. You know, we're, it right. must have been outside. Owen, if you're working harder, let's try. You know, you know that's code, right? Yes. That's how, okay. That's how you complain? Yes. Yeah. That's complaining to the ump without complaining to the ump. Yeah, like Owen knows that too, by the way. Like, he's just not getting. There's a swing, foul tip. Why don't work three, four? One and two. See how like it's going. Fouled up and over the back. It was your moment. <laughs> you ran away from it. That kid has a football in his hand. I, know, I, know, no I thought it was a glove at first. I thought it was a glove. Here's a pitch. Another curveball that's fouled back into the screen. One and two still. Two two. We're still in the zone where the, the sun at, at out at Cabot, the sun is directly behind home plate, so it's impossible to see the scoreboard. Nearly impossible. Here's a 2-2. Fouled up, Nate. <laughs> Owen Pierce is under it, and he squeezes it and makes the catch. You know, we've got the... Oh. We are, there's number six in their lineup, in their order. Owen had to work quickly on that one. That was not a very high pop-up behind gotta the plate. got to have like, that spin on it. He quickly flipped off the mask, and there's another, another pop-up. That one is going to go out of play, though. Shout Into out to the Dandelions. Rebecca Jones watching. wonder if the kids are, are watching. It's dangerous where we're standing here because we are mere feet away. There's a ground ball to first base. Castillo scoops it and steps in the bag for the second out of the inning. We are about three feet away from all the Rocket coaches. So, Yeah, it's likely. actually safer for Lane to give me a mic than to keep it on him behind uh, those guys over there. Uh, yeah. I, but the, all, it's full of positivity. Uh-huh. The first question. Two 
shots now. Pitch. Foul ball. Hey, great start, great start. Late on that. I'm about to. Yeah, they're on a. They're having Fastball a. Fastball high. They're in a. A streak you don't want to be in. Cabot recently lost their all everything Arkansas commit or UCA commit pitcher Aiden Velasco. There's a little number to give into third base, and he squeezes it to the third out. One, two, three, for Hazel Pizza Rockets, and we're going to. Do up for Catholic Gibbons, Fogelman, and Pierce. When the Junior Jackson. Against Junior Kale Turner on the mound for Cabot. First pitch fastballs fouled off. Another fastball fouled straight. Fastball and curveball. And Gibbons pokes one into the air in the left field. And that's going to be squeezed by the left fielder for the first out. this. Yeah, I'm not sure where that was. But it lifts one into the left field. That's drifting too. But Filler makes the catch. It's a ball carrying out here today.
We're not supposed to be here, so soccer is not here. Softball's playing. Yep. You also were late last time. Whoa, 3-0. Let's go, oh! Bower Day. Bower Day pinch running for Owen Pierce. Out of boy. Dang it. Hey, right, keep, keep swinging unassisted, whatever. Everybody knows what that means. Hi, right, guys, keep swinging, keep swinging. We good? I love how I love I love it. It's very cathartic. Probably change again. As of right now, we are playing Central at Lamar Porter on Monday, and then Brian on Tuesday. So stretch of three conference games in four days. We'll see Luke Lawrence against Central, so it's going to be three quality conference games. Whoopsie! Uh, that's awkward. He thought, he thought he was going to hit him. <laughs> Do it again! Love when they flinch. All right. 
Yeah, he's he's been he's had a good season so far. Look for Will Leslie to picking up some extra innings now that Velasquez is out. Hey, wait a minute. Lead off. Good pitch. Yes, yes, yes! Hey, nothing. I'm, I'm not going to use words. I wanted to say nothing cute. Just get the, you know, like, don't be so crazy. Okay, it's a good spot. Two and one on Brooks Ward. Here's the pitch. Fastball in the dirt, skips down. And of course, when I say the dirt, there is no dirt anywhere out here. Not, not a speck. I'm not going to. ant pile somewhere. I'm not going to. Just, there's just no bad hops out here. Here's the fastball stays high. There's ball four and Brooks Ward is on. So Brooks reaches for the second time this evening. 
Brings up Joe Castillo. Castillo flew out to center field his first time up. Takes a change up for a called strike one. Every fly ball of the outfield today has been carrying. Joe's did that when center fielder caught it almost at the warning track. Here's the pitch. Another curveball, another strike. All right, he burned it on that one. Does he come back with that? Does he come back with that? Does He's thrown two curveballs for a strike so far, called strike. He's going to go with a high fastball here, I would assume. One and two. It is a fastball. It was lower than he wanted, and Joe made a good swing at it, fouled it back. I think he's coming back with that curveball. One and two. Ward stole second when he was on in the first inning. He's always a threat to go. Shakes it off, shakes it off, shakes it off. Yeah, he's like, yeah. Turner I looks. I want to throw the curveball again. In the throw. There's a curveball. And ho Castillo held up. That's his, that's his baby blanket. Like, to me, that's his baby blanket pitch. That he, that his comfort? The curveball, yeah. That's his, like, for me, it's a peanut butter sandwich and a Diet Coke. That makes me feel good in a blanket. Him, it's a curveball. There's a pitch. Fastball low. Do you remember Lauren last year? We couldn't hit a one of them. <laughs> and uh, and and I remember their tensions grew in the uh, stands. No, his mom thought I was being critical. Like he he absolutely has a Fast his fastball is like 88, 92. He also has a he has a changeup. There's a curveball, strike yeah, three. Strike three. And see, but I, I was just saying, like, why would you throw another pitch? Because other than Grant Almendinger and like maybe England, no one else hit it last year. Hey, pick him up, pick him up, so, nine. Joe looked at three curveballs for called strikes. And England is up now. England struck out on a called third strike curveball. His first time up. Turner shakes off the catcher. Let's see if he remembers England missing. And there's a throw over. Ward dives in with that right arm. Kale Turner's father is the coach of the Cabot wrestling team. I didn't know that. They won state title this year. There goes Ward. Throw down. Good throw. No, in short hop, skips into center field, but not far enough because the center field is backing up. How crazy is the sport of wrestling growing in Arkansas, man? It's awesome. All right, so England's in this position I again. Hate nets. Runner at second base. One out. Rock is looking to push something across. Here's a pitch. Curveball stays high. Here's the one one. Fastball stays low. Hey, let's go, Nan. Let's go, Nan. Two and one. Here's the pitch. Fastball, low and outside. Three and one. Hey, Lauren. Hey, you know what he's coming with? <laughs> three one pitch. Ethan Young on deck for Catholic. Here's a three one. Curveball. And it stays outside. So I look back at the crowd like, am I right? Am I right? Three one curveball. That brings up Ethan Young. Ethan walked his first at bat. One out, runners on first and second. Both runners very fast. Ethan Young, power potential. Hi there, what's happening, buddy? High oh. fly ball. Looking good, bro. Trouble. It is trouble. Shortstop ranges out and makes the catch. 
that was directly over the third base side. And when I saw the third baseman come in and not go for it, I thought that could be trouble because the left fielder had to sprint to get there. But the shortstop ranged far over, made the catch right on the left field foul line for the second out of the inning. So that brings, up, that brings up Noel Lewis, and I agree with you, Lauren. I think that Noel Noel is absolutely due. It's meant for him. This, this is a great matchup. Yep, yep, yep. Jackson yep. England on first, Brooks Ward on second, two outs. Noel grounded out to shortstop his first at bat. Crush it. Curveball, and there's another ground ball shortstop. He comes in, feels it on the run, throws over to carbon copy to Noel's first at bat. Dang it. And that will retire the side. So a couple walks means a couple of stranded runners. And at the end of three, it is zero. All right, Asher goes back out there to work inning number four. That brings up A.B. Singleton. Lots of eye black, and there's a, he looks for the bunt. He beautiful bunt. So beautiful bunt down the third baseline. Give his bare hands it, but cannot get the runner in time. Throw over. In there safely. He showed late bunt. There's a beautiful bunt. He, that hug the third base line. Long hold by Asher. He was sitting there. He's going to make the batter call time on that one. Hey, what's, why, why do we do that? To show that you're in control of the at bat. Just oh, make him, reason. make okay. him a little bit. Un, just make him a little uncomfortable. It make him stand me, it there. Makes me uncomfortable. Now Asher sets. And the pitch. Out of Swing boy. And hey, Avi Singleton over there at first. He is super fast. He plays center field quite a bit. He's going to be flying. Oh, one. There goes a the runner. Pure throw. Fast runner. Steal second. Hey, good job, O. Now they're in a, with a 1-1 one, one count. We're in a definite bunt situation here with a runner on second, nobody out. Coach Jones calls out the signals for what they're going to do here. I don't think that the long sigh is part of the signal, though. We'll see if he shows bunt. He doesn't. Followed, said fouled straight back. One and two. Here's a one-two. 
Another long hole by Asher. The pitch, it's a curveball. Great job, great Fall job. Back over the way in, way in, way in. Obviously looking for a strikeout in this situation to keep that runner a second. You just jinxed it. Thank you, Chris. There's a pitch, and the ball skips away from Owen. That's not that bad of a not that bad a pitch. No. Nope. Could just I wanted to backhand it. I don't think that hit the dirt. So now we got a runner on third. Nobody out. Two two pitch. There's a line drive to center field. Brooks Ward is on it. He makes a catch and no tag. They're Hey, great job, boys. All right, so that ball is medium deep, but it was on the, a line. Why, why not the tag, man? I think Honestly, the throw was offline, too. Senior Pacini is going to talk to his son, Pacini. Be like, what's up, dude? So, Asher gets the first out. I don't think Brooks took more than one step to make that catch. Good contact, line drive right at him. That brings up Singleton Braden Passmore. Third. Here's a pitch. Atta boy. Fastball strike one. Castillo and Givens are even at the bag at first and third. They're going to look the runner back. The middle's playing back, conceding the run for the out. This pitch. Oh. Change up, swing and a miss. Beautiful pitch. Like a rise ball. Like it just, I, it, I know it's not, okay? But it just looks so high. But it, but it like came up. Or is it just because the batter? Well, it, I, Why does it look like that? It, 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 it looked, it started high and kind of dropped a bit. Okay. It, Maybe because he swung, swung, he's flying up. Hey, swung up. My bad. 0 oh 2, Asher backs off. They're going to reset. Oh, coach, quit walking in front of my camera. There he is. And here's a pitch. Fastball hits him right in the elbow guard. That's tough. You hate that on an 0 2 pitch. Hey, get it back, get it back. So he tried to come inside of that fastball. That's going to put runners on the corners with one out. That brings up Derek Larson. See if Asher can throw a ground ball here. Here's a curveball. There's a ground ball right to Asher. He looks. So line drives straight back to Asher. He knocks it down, looks the runner back at second, third base, and is able to make the play at first. Now there's two outs. Runner does advance to second, but now there's two outs. So I got two outs, runners at second and third. What? Oh, uh, game two. First for, pitch strike. For this, us? This, this, yeah. Well, I mean, that's, this is Cabot's. Yeah. Austin Riles batting for Cabot. Riles 0 for 1 on the day. Yes, Her yes, ball yes. gets him there. Beautiful pitch. 0 oh, 2 now. Yeah. Coach telling him, don't mess around. Let's go straight at him. None of this inside messing, drop, whatever. And Asher backs off. Getting everything settled. On his pace. He is on his pace. He's in control. Here's a set. The kick and the pitch. Ground ball. F foul ball. Just fouled down third baseline. Still two strikes. Oh. 
Here's a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Great job by Hamilton. After getting a runner on third base, nobody out. The Rockets get out of it with a big strikeout from Hamilton on the curveball. And the Rock Panthers strand two. And we go on. All right, we're moving to the bottom of the fourth inning. Jackson Givens is going to lead it off for the Panthers. I'm sorry for the Rockets. First pitch, fastball. Hard fastball in there for a call strike. Neither pitcher has been backing down, both getting stronger as the game goes on. Agreed. Uh, Turner's really fixed his uh, pitch count. Yep. Even though we still have a lot, of, a lot of fouls early in the innings, um, like he would have like 60 pitches after like two innings. He's at 52 going here and at the bottom of the fourth. Asher's up Here's a 1-1. One, one. There's that foul ball again. Fouled back to the 1 and 2. Haven't seen a curveball yet, so we're going to see it. Hope Jackson's ready for it. Come on, guys. We got to jump on him now. Givens flew it to left field. His first at bat. Here's the pitch. There's a the curveball. There you go. Curveball. There you go. Givens gets a piece. There you go. it into the Cabot dugout. Let's go, Jackson G. Cody Fogelman on deck for the Rockets. Here's the pitch. Curveball. Breaks down, and holds the ball. Two and two. Now you got to expect anything. Turner very easily could come back with a third straight curveball. Here's a two two. Yes. There's a fastball. Good contact, but right at the shortstop. The throw over, off the bag, but they break the tag. Oh boy! All right, so. Let's go! Let's go, boys! The throw over from the shortstop to carry the first baseman towards home plate. He made the catch, but when he tried to make the tag, he dropped the ball. So Givens is going to reach on the air. Well, Jackson's all like bowed up, so like that glove hit and the ball just like, ouch, and just jumps out. He threw his left peck at it. <laughs> Gave it a little flex. Yeah. So we get the leadoff runner on. That's right. That brings up Cody Fogelman. Fogelman also flew out to left field, his first at bat. I can't remember, did, did the left fielder have any help when he caught that, Cody's ball? I have no idea. It was unassisted. I was unassisted, you're right, I'm sorry. I was like, I don't know Gibbons why you're asking this. dives back in. Lauren called out the unassisted outfield catches. Shut up. Here's a pitch. Fogelman turns on one, but that's going to go about four feet foul down the left field line. Hey, keep working up there, 
Turner with a long look in. Get throw over. Givens dives back in safely. Here's a pitch. No! No, he did not! No! No way! No way! No way! We're going to have a review. Coach Jones says, Visiting politely. Sticking with the sticking with the call. Rockets lose the runner. Cody Fogelman, 0-2 count. Still at plate. Let's go, Cody! Fogelman showed bunt and missed the bunt. The catcher threw down to first. It's an outside pitch. It was outside pitch. And it was a, it was a good back pick and threw down sure. to first and got Givens. I mean his. He was safe. His hands were in there. The throw was on his – the tag was on his head. He was called out. Coach Jones came over to make sure. Umpire said, yep. I disagree, hmm. and there's strike three. Swing and a miss on the curve hey. ball. Let's go up. Change the sitting, Owen. Change the sitting. Now. Let's go. Hang on, hang on, I might. That brings up Owen Pierce. Yeah. I got a lead, Swing and, a miss. and I've got stuff in the car. I can go get it. Ball stays up. One and two. One, two count. Did Lane go to the car? Yep. Or get a band aid? Yep. Gibbons got cleated. With his hand on the bag. With his, yeah, and uh, he's gushing blood out of his hand now. Hope it's a left hand. Let's go, O! Let's go, Owen! Let's go, buddy! All right, we unmuted now. Chris, are we on?
Okay, let's go. Now, the fifth. Actually, Hamilton out there. Yes, yes, yes! First pitch. Yes, yes, yes! Nice Joseph pitch. Whitehead is, has third, who is currently getting a, a wrap on his hand. First base and step in his hand. He's got a. There's a line drive that's going to get down for a hit. Let's see if he can hold to one. Noel Lewis cuts it off and throw in. Nice play by Noel to keep it to the yeah, single. Yeah, keep it one. Hey, way to get that ball in, AT. You know, like, you, like I know it's turf, but there's a slope in that left field. It rolls to that corner edge. It, not exactly. It was clearly foul. It was like about a foot and a half. Hey, make sure to watch. Make sure to watch. Bring the ball. Asher looks over it. moves into third. Givens has got a cleat-sized gash between his first and second fingers on his throwing hand. It was his right hand. Worked on over there trying to get that blood stopped. This is the first baseman up to the plate. He struck out in his first at bat. Only at bat. Joe with a great scoop over there. Number 22, Leslie. Leslie with the runner on second base, one out. As your back's off, looks for her back. I guess, I guess. It's kind of wound tight. And honestly, the pitching is so good that these are the kind of games you're going to see a lot.
Cassio is holding the Viking steel here. Holds it. Again, runners still at runners still at first and third. Here comes leading off of the rocket. So I Because we keep walking away from the computer, I think the mics get staticky. Okay. But I just don't want to be. We can.
Taking for a strike. I imagine he'll be ready for it. There's a kick in the pitch. Fastball, and Joe gets that one. That one's trouble. Nice play by the second baseman who ranged deep into the right field area. Make that catch. Pop up to retire this. So, quick one, two, three inning. Turner. It's going to set down the rocket. We're going zero, zero. Here in All right. To the top of the sixth inning. There's a ground ball up first baseline. That's going to stay foul. Pierce picks it up. Stop. Asher's, that was Asher's 64th pitch. As he works into the sixth inning. Nice pitch. Called strike there. 0-2. Oh Curveball. One and two. He's feeling inspired. Second baseman, Jay Murray is batting. Number three hitter in the Cabot lineup. I'll say it's far out. Two and two. Call, call strike three. Down right Fastball down the middle. Don't know what he was thinking there, but that's Asher's sixth strike out of the day. Brings up third baseman Bryson Passmore. Cleanup hitter for the Panthers. He's been hit by a pitch and struck out.
So as we get in the late innings here, every pitch magnified in a 0-0 game. Swing and a miss on the changeup. Beautiful pitch. 0-2. Oh There's a line drive. That's going to get down for a base. Staying in and right. Two strikes. Pass more. Lions went in. Only the Panthers hit the ball ring. They've had traffic in most innings today, but Asher has been great at working the jams. He's going to have to do it again. But we do have a runner first with one out. This will bring up the designated hitter. Courtesy runner. This is a, not a courtesy runner. This is a pinch runner. Cabot's putting some speed on the base paths, I assume. Hey, the other one's working on his pace. Lauren just very loudly telling her to hit. Throw over. You would a slide step. You would have seen it, I believe. Here's a 1-0. Yes, There's a strike. Oh. Sixth inning. Umpire's been calling. Umpire's been calling. Rock out, dugout took exception to that pitch. And there's a foul. Oh boy. Great effort, Jackson. Oh boy. Great effort. Hey, finish here. Two and one. That's going to be a base hit. That's a diving whitehead. Lewis scoops it. And that looks... And we'll see who... No. I want to see who is going to be Caleb Short. So Caleb Short also came and to finish out the Conway win a week today. So he
Last Friday he worked two and two-thirds innings. So Caleb comes in in relief. Strike one. I was going to riot. Much, I was going to riot. Much as, much as Caleb worked in two and two-thirds innings, didn't allow a run. And that game. There's strike two. Now that was a pitch. That is not called. Called all game. Yeah. Oh and two. Abbott is not happy about that. That was a Four hits in the day. This had runners on all but two innings this game. Stays up. All rockets playing straight away. Kicking the pitch. Third ball. Slider. Breaks down away, but swing. Two strikes. Long look in. Caleb like, sees what he likes. Here's a kick. Here's the one. Just get a piece of it. And the one two. Fastball grounded straight back into the rocket dugout. Bounces all the way to Castillo at first base. Good battle here. Key situation in the sixth inning. Runners on second and third. A zero zero game. Here's a pitch. Fastball outside.
keep it at zero to zero. We move it to the sixth of the year. That rock is off. Conway, this was a Ford let off the game with a line drive single. Four blocks and hit, but they haven't been anybody in third. Last three innings, he's got a runner at third. Down in the dirt. Here, here it comes. That's ball, ground ball. Up the middle. English pumped up. That guy's pumped up, and that's what we Second hit in the ball game. Brings up Ethan Young. <laughs> Only the second time today that the Rockets have put a beat-off runner on. Ethan Young not a threat to bunt. Curveball stays high. There's a pitch that stays inside for ball two. Turner looks. No movement. Fastball saves way high. I don't see anybody in the Cabot bullpen, but I also might not be seeing it. 
Three out. He gives a gives a big hack at it. Fouls it straight back. He was on it. Three one count. Again, I expect it. This high, that ball is deep into right field, but it's caught. That was that was ball four. Brings up Noel Lewis. Curveball's in there for strike one. And dives back in. <laughs> Foul ball's high down the right field line. I think it's going to get out of play. And it's caught by the right fielder. That's going to bring Joseph Whitehead to come in. Up a gash that Dr. Eklund had. Yeah. England had the glue. Strike one. Here's a pitch. Fastball must have just missed. Outs England on first after a leadoff single. They're on the bottom of the stick. Curveball. Stays down. Swing it a bit the fastball. the lead off on they strand him though and at the end
Chris. And the batter threw his bat. Like what a bat. Watch where the bat is, please. Let's go. So the pop up straight up came over, but even the pitcher's mound. Caleb, Joe, and Owen Pierce all went for it. Owen dove for it, just out of reach. Would have been a great play. Still Owen too. It's been an incredibly well pitched ball game by three quality pitchers. Three of the best in not just the 6A Central, but honestly, three of the best in the state. Here's the swing and a miss, but that ball's going to skip by. It's going to be a tough play at first, and Owen's going to eat that one. That was a cur <laughs> Yeah. Caleb, yeah, but that ball is low. Skip past Owen, and the runner reaches on it. And that's the one to you. I'm watching my coaches here. Those are, those are tough, tough plays. You feel like you work hard and you get it done, but they're still on their base. Hey, but the Rockers have been like this whole game. Throw over. Leslie slides in. Shadows are now creeping into the third base area. So the shadows are. Shadows completely covering home plate onto the pitcher's mound. Fastball stays high. Swing and a miss. The two of them are R1A and one b and they both have both have a control is We're at the number three spot in the lineup and 
Singleton did bunt first single as two at bats ago. Runners on first and second. Absolutely a situation where you might think about bunt. Did not show bunt. Okay, you know here. Definitely gonna be a situation where we need to take Here's a three oh. Called strike. Not even not even making a hint at that one. I'm sorry, I said Singleton was number three in the lineup. They're number two in the Cabot lineup. 3-1 pitch coming up. Here it is. Ball four stays low. So Owen Pierce is going to call time. Caleb. We've been talking about how the Rockets have been and jams a lot of this ball game. None bigger or more difficult than this one right here. Base is loaded, one out. In the top of the yes, yes, another yes. slider, another strike. Oh and two now. Again looking to turn two in the middle. There's one out. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Big, big. Another slider. That one was down away. He tipped it. Pierce hung on. Picked it right out of the dirt. There's now two outs. So, Caleb strikes out. That brings up the cleanup hitter. So now, third and first, back. This game has been full of moments like this. But obviously here in the final inning, none bigger than right now. One and no. Slider, takes down and away, two and no. Now he's going to have to challenge him. You can't afford to get a 3 0 with the bases loaded here. He's going to have to challenge him. Challenge our cleanup hitter. Here's the pitch. Fastball, and there's a drive in the center field. Brooks is going back, going back, going back, going back. It's over his head. That's down. That's going to, that's going to clear the bases. And Brayden Passmore hits a bases clearing double. Brooks' his head. And it's three nothing cabot. <laughs> Gotta get past more credit. That's a big hit right there. Fastball high. So I got two outs. Foul back. One and two.
now. Although it's good in the game, so. We move into the bottom of the Trying to close it. Gail Turner's at 97 pitches now. Three and one. Hey, you can't score a three until you get one. Let's get that first runner out of the base. Ball four. Stein is going to come up now. Bowman Stein is going to pinch it. Okay, I'll get it. All right, and that's going to do it for Kale Turner. He finishes his afternoon along two hits. No. That's in.
Moore. The team, imagine that's why I'm in there right now. Here's the pitch. First pitch. Good. Just. side of the line. Sometimes I don't After Grant Almodinger Second pitch high. They're not holding Hudson at first base because his run. Ball fouled off of the plate. For some reason, the catcher had no chance. So Wood advanced the second in the wild pitch. That was not defensive. No, it was not. Here is the pitch outside. Full count now. I get it. One more runner. Got it. One more runner to get on base. Ground ball. Second baseman dives at it. Feels on one hop. Nice play by the second baseman. Didn't hit it hard. Two outs. Down to their final out. Brooks and Joe Castillo on deck. Murray's pitch. Curveball. Oh, and Brooks sends that one deep, deep to right. Deep. That's going to go. Yes. yes. Defense. Get within three to two. And now that diving. So for the second consecutive game, Brooks hits a late. Not 
enough runners on. Good job. Now Rockets down three to two. That brings up Joe Castillo. Got to start the inning over now. We need one more runner. Curveball stays down. Season. Makes it a one run game. That's ball. Oh. Instead, the ball's been carrying. Fast. There's a sharp by Hitley hit ball up the middle. That's going to be a single. Okay, that brings up Jackson England. As we keep the line moving. Oops. up. Wind is carrying to the left. The outfielders are they're, they're scrapping against the outfield defense. They're playing a no doubles at defense. Here's a pitch. Great swing. Hey, that's a great swing right there. Fastball was right there. Good hard cut at it. Oh, no. Curveball, strike two. Pretty pitch. 0-2. Oh Joe Castillo in first. Rockets down 3-2. He's the last two. Oh, two pitch coming up. All right. There. Anyone takes that fastball. Outside. One and two. Here we go, Jackson. Here's a pitch. Curveball. Curveball swings at that strike. That's the ball game. Rockets lose 3 2. They mount a little bit of a comeback here in the last inning. Two at home run for Sword. But in the end, the Rockets fall to 9 and 7 and lose another one run game. That's going to do it for this broadcast. We'll see you back on Monday as the Rockets take out.